I go first time went to Mexico with a master was like, oh, it was so windy. And it was a new place nearby the beach area. It's so windy, right? And there, there's a new building, okay? No windows, no door. Go ahead, do a Tao ceremony with a windy building. Well, the whole city is windy. And we're supposed to keep the lantern on? Come on, tell me. How do you keep the lantern on the whole time? We were so scared that lantern was going to go out. And I was through the, the process. I was staring at the lantern saying, make sure police don't go out. You know, use myself as the wick. You know, please burn me instead. You know, keep make sure the light is on. And the light did not go out. Not one light went out. Wow. And then, before we left the area, it was pouring rain. And I was like, "Hey, Chinese is phrase that when it's rain." You're supposed to, you, it's the time to keep the guest. Guests cannot leave because it's raining, right? The master, you know, uh, enlightened me in, in another way, saying, no, no, no. When the Buddha comes, <laughs> it's the wind. When Buddha leaves, it's the rain. Huh? What? I did not know that because before the house, it was windy. Buddhas were coming. And when they left, it started raining. I did not understand that. I was like, really? They were with us the whole time? That's so funny. See, you can sense heaven's mercy when you go out and do work for heaven. And heaven will throw you so many curveballs. I don't want to say curveball, but so many different subjects that we need to learn about our own individual selves. That we have to learn to detach. And then gain what we never had before. Gain what we never had is the connection that we have with heaven. And when you have that connection, oh my goodness, no matter how people discipline you in a very serious and angry way, you will be, a, you will be smiling because you can sense God behind that, uh, that discipline. You will sense the love behind that discipline. And you will, you will, you will, you will truly gain what you never had before. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Your words are resonating in my head, especially because I know I need to reconnect with the temple. Not not everybody does. Everybody in the temple, they all have their own purpose. They will not be able to resonate the same way I do, what you do. Not everybody does what I do. And they all have their own way. You have to, we, we all have to learn to see their own connection and do not expect them to be like us. If we do, that's the moment we start to suffer. Yeah, and then when we suffer too much, then we'll start, you know, discouraged, become discouraged, and then we lose hope and we lose faith.